Good morning, everyone. I'm Katie Nolan, bringing you your top headlines for Wednesday, March 28th. That girl from Clueless turns out to be just that. And for once, the United States gets embarrassed on the world stage by something other than our celebrities. Yay! All that and more on your guys in Speed Round. Nineteen-year-old tennis star Bernard Tomic was so annoyed with his father at a match on Sunday that he begged and pleaded with an umpire to have him removed. I know love means nothing to a tennis player, but what about the term crybaby pansy boy? Are we familiar with that? Fucking bitch. Former somebody, Alicia Silverstone, posted a video of herself feeding her child Bear Blue by chewing up food and then giving him mouth to mouth. Hopefully one day the child will grow up and return the favor by resuscitating her career. The U.S. men's soccer team lost to El Salvador in the final moments of the match on Monday and thusly lost their chance to go to the Olympics. Do you believe in miracles? No! It's time to face the fact that this country will just never be as good at soccer as the rest of the world. Jabba Chamberlain had a better chance of qualifying for trampolining. A medical marijuana delivery guy in California was robbed by a pack of ninjas. This actually makes me feel safer, because if ninjas are smoking weed now, then I feel fully equipped to fight them, even if with a pair of nunchucks in my hand I look like Napoleon Dynamite. I'm late on this trend, but that's okay because I don't have a penis. Have you guys all heard of the Freedom Flask? It's a lightweight plastic flask that straps around your waist and allows you to carry booze into places that you're not really allowed to carry booze into and also look like you can pee Jack Daniels. Unfortunately for me, this doesn't really work for women, but I too have a place around my stomach where I like to store my booze. It's called a fupa. A 33-year-old woman in England had her entire car dismantled when she misplaced her brand new hamster on the 15-minute drive from the pet store to her house. What's a hamster go for nowadays? Ten bucks? Dismantling your $10,000 car is like trying to give a goldfish CPR. Let him go. He lived a good life. You know, at least he didn't have to get fondled by some first grader with bologna sandwich hands. He'll be easier to find later when you can just... <laughs> Follow the smell. Then again, if you're buying yourself a hamster at the age of 33, I'm gonna assume logic isn't your thing. A Tokyo-based lifestyle website is selling a selection of devices made for personal massage that a lot of people are saying look more like torture devices. I don't know what your guys' idea of torture is, but I see like a leg massager, a back massager, and a place to put my titties. The new iPad has hardly received rave reviews, but new information shows that the battery meter lies about how much juice you have left and was actually programmed to do so by Apple. So you could be heading to a business meeting thinking you're all set and then bam, the thing you depend on for success just dies. A spokesman for Apple said, hey, now you know how we feel. And that's gonna do it for your speed round, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button below, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. And if I failed you so far in the laugh department, please accept this video as my consolation. Enjoy your hump days, and I'll see you right back here tomorrow with more headlines that you need to know. An unemployed man in China builds submarines in his basement and sells them for $31,000 a pop. Or at least he says he does. Opium is a hell of a drug.